Hey everyone, what's up? Mirai here and welcome to another Iceboxer video. In this one I am going to be showing how to edit and adjust your game and game profile in both Iceboxer and Innerspace. We're going to be we're going to be touching some things in Innerspace. <clears throat> it's very exciting, very exciting. So Anyway, normally when people are referring to your game and game profile, they're talking about this setting here in IS Boxer. So underneath your character tree, you've got a list of characters. And each character is assigned to a game and a game profile, right? Um, in this case, I've got two profiles for Diablo 3, and we're going to be editing those. But each character has their own unique game and game profile. So when you make a change to something, each character of that character set needs to have this stuff updated, assuming you're updating this. But with that said, how do we do this? Well, first of all, we need to have Innerspace running. But once it's running, right click on the crosshair tray icon here and go to configuration. It's going to bring up some Innerspace stuff. Very exciting. So this is the configuration panel, but there's several tabs at the top. We want game configuration here. Now, there's nothing in this, there's nothing in this uh, tab except for one dropdown. And this dropdown contains every game that is currently added to Innerspace. Now, some of you might be looking at this and you're like, wait, 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 wait. I just saw you click on the tray icon and there was no, there's only Diablo 3 up there. There's no World of Warcraft Legion Alpha. Why is that? Well, we're going to talk about why that is in a moment. But first, let's focus on Diablo 3 and edit those profiles. So when you, when you finally pick a game, you select a game from that list. This will populate with information, most of which we're not going to be touching. But first, I'd like to point out that you can remove the game here if you'd like to. Now, this isn't an uninstall button for the game itself. This just removes it from inner space. But if you click this, there is no confirmation. There is no warning. There is no, are you sure? You click this, and it's gone, right? So if you've got a bunch of profiles that maybe you want to save or back up or something that are attached to a specific game, you're like, boom, remove game. All the profiles are gone with it too. So just know that that's there. Now, down at the bottom here, here's how you access the profiles themselves. And if you want to create a new profile from scratch for this particular game listed at the top, you can do that. If you don't know what you're doing when you're creating a new profile, then I would suggest just editing an existing profile. So in order to access those, here's, here they are in the dropdown. Now, we'll start with the skip launcher here. And at the top, you've got the main executable file name, the parameters, and the path. If you ever need to make a change to the path or the file name or the parameters, this is where you do it, in one of these three fields, right? So let's say you... Um, I don't know. Maybe you need to make a change from the 32-bit version of World of Warcraft to the 64-bit version of World of Warcraft. Well, you can do that here by changing the executable to what it's supposed to be. Um, same thing with the path. If you're moving folders around, maybe you brought something over from an old, uh, you, you updated, you upgraded your computer, and now you want to move your game folders over. But the drive letter changes, right? Well, you can update that here as well. Uh, I'm not going to be changing any of this on this profile, but I am just going to be changing the name. So I'm going to remove the skip launcher part. And every time you edit anything in here, anything at all, um, you want to hit that apply button a bunch of times. I would say just hit it once, but um, I've had problems where I've hit it once before and it hasn't applied. So uh, I'm kind of, uh, kind of just make sure that it's applied. So now that it's applied. And again, remove profile will just poof out of existence. And I'll show you how that works in a moment. We'll close for all oh, you can, you can make a shortcut here. I uh, just want to let you know what this is. This is making a shortcut. It's the same thing as right-clicking on Innerspace itself and launching the profile from here. This, isn't, this shortcut is not going to launch a character set or anything like that. It's going to launch a profile directly through Innerspace, which is a single game client. It's usually not what people want to use. You usually want to be launching character sets, but I just want to point out that this is here. That's what it does. Don't be confused when you can't launch your character set through this button here. So that's OK. So we're going to close this profile. And then because we made changes to the game profile, we also need to update the game itself. So I'm going to click this several times because I'm paranoid that it won't update. However, <clears throat> we're going to come into the default profile here. I'm going to show you that this, you click this, it's gone. No confirmation, no are you sure, it's gone. It's no longer in the list, as we can see. So again, I'm going to update this several thousand times, and I'm going to close this. We right click here, and we can see that we now have Diablo 3 with just the Diablo 3 profile. And of course, if we come into Ice Boxer, sometimes I wish that would go away. If we come into Ice Boxer and we look and we refresh a character, we can see that the game profile has disappeared. Because if you remember, we had Diablo 3 hyphen skip launcher, right? Well, that profile doesn't exist anymore. We've renamed it. So when Ice Boxer refreshes that information 
and, and it gets that from inner space, it, that profile doesn't match anymore. It just removes it from the list here. It just completely removes it out of existence. So if you're making changes to something even as small as a label in inner space itself, you're going to have to come back in here and reassign a game or game profile or both to your characters in question. So I just wanted to point that out, right? So we only have that one profile now. And that's how you would do that. That's how you would do that. Now, um, let's talk about why uh, World of Warcraft is not showing up in this list. So if we come up here, we can pick um, World of Warcraft from that list. We'll go into the only profile that it exists. And we can see that I, my file name is right. Um, OK. Oh, you know, I'll point out in parameters that if you have no parameters, it will show a big fat no right here. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Not all games have parameters that are used with them. So anyway, the problem here is that my path is indeed wrong. It should be E instead of F. It's currently F. So I'm going to delete that. I'm going to change this to E, update this 50 times, close profile, update this, or apply this, right-click on the tray icon, and there it is. World of Warcraft Legion Alpha now appears in this list. So that's why you might not be seeing something, is you may have the, the file name incorrect or the path incorrectly set in inner space, right? So let's say um, sometimes you can't always edit directly through inner space. And that's because inner space doesn't like some of the weird, um, awkward characters that you can use with the keyboard. I don't think it likes brackets, like actual square brackets. So if you use those, it, it, there's a few other uh, symbols it doesn't like as well. You can add a game and make it look, you could launch it and use it through Interspace usually, but when you come into the configuration here, it will not save right. It, it'll be messed up. So there's another way to edit your, um, your profiles. If you go to your Interspace install folder and you find the gameconfiguration.xml file. Now you can open this in any text editor. It's in plain text. I have Notepad++. So that's exactly what I'm going to use. I already got this uh, opened up over here. And this is what you'll see. So this is what we were just looking at. So if we look at Diablo 3, this is the name of the game up here. This is the name of the profile right here. This would have been, you know, this would have been the skip launcher profile, but we changed it to just be Diablo 3. Now below this, you can see there's the executable. Here are the parameters and here's the path. And these are the three settings that you would be changing, you would be editing in Interspace. So if for some reason you can't access that, or maybe you just don't like the look of the Interspace, maybe it's, maybe it's I don't know, maybe you just rather change things up in a, in a text file, right? Uh, I do prefer to work in the text file from time to time. And a, a reason for doing this is that if you look at the configuration itself, you can't actually change the name of the game anywhere, right? So if you accidentally added this as World of Warcat, and you're like, damn it. You know, well, you could remove the game and re-add it. But let's say you've already added a bunch of profiles to it, and now you're stuck with World of Warcat. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, right? So you can come in here and you can just, you know, edit the name of the game. We'll just change this to a capital alpha. I'll save this. This is not updated in real time. You need to exit out of Interspace, relaunch Interspace, and have it reread from this XML file. And then when you do, you can see that here, World of Warcraft Alpha, it's updated to the updated to the all capital alpha letters. And of course, if we come in IS Boxer, let's see if it updated. It did. Um, one thing, I, I keep coming back to this and I keep expecting it not to refresh. Sometimes it doesn't refresh in real time. So if you make a change in inner space and it doesn't reflect right away in IS Boxer, just shut IS Boxer down and restart it and it will reread uh, its information from inner space and everything should be updated properly at that point. So again, you can edit your stuff right in Interspace directly, or you can edit it in the XML file itself. Uh, I would not worry about any of this other stuff. This is all set. These are all like uh, behind the scenes settings that are set by Interspace for things to run and launch correctly, right? So there's all of that. I would really just recommend changing the executable parameters and path. Maybe one final thing to point out is that if you are going to start venturing into playing with the XML file itself, it's really easy to break things. But if you start like copying whole chunks here for like you want to copy a game or something, you should delete the GUID out of the game name uh, as well as the profile uh, as well as the profile stuff down here. 
you may also want to just delete all the GUID lines. So you do that, you copy everything, and then when you relaunch uh, Interspace, it will just assign its own internal GUID to these, to, these, um, to these games and whatnot. That's a little advanced, it's a little confusing, but if you need, it's a loud bird outside. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but uh, if you need any help with any of this stuff, copying, playing around with the XML file, doing any of this in configuring it through Interspace, then come to the site, come to the forum, come to the live chat, someone is there to assist with this. So, but that's all I've got. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Mirai, out.